So you had a lot of personal experience with CBD helping your migraines, your pain from sports, is that right? Yeah, that is correct. Now, when, when I was playing, I didn't. So when I was playing, I didn't even know anything about CBD, didn't touch it, didn't understand it. Um, but after I retired, you know, I've been beat up for, for a long time. And uh, so I had inflammation, I had pain in my knees. Um, just and had, you were a running back. It's I was like running the back. worst position. I mean, people talk or almost joke about how guys can make it a couple of years. They get so banged up. People talk about that with Saquon Barkley all the time. Yeah. Like, how long is his career going to be? Well, that's why somebody like, you know, like, like Zeke Elliott is holding out, you know. Saquon is going to be there at some point where he has to do a new deal. Now, does he come in? So for me, it was like I played the game. I loved the game. But after the game, I was beat up. And I just couldn't find something that it, I was looking for to kind of get rid of the pain and try to feel normal again. Because as an athlete, you're used to performing at a high level, you, yeah. peak performance. And so you're always looking for something to give you that edge to make you feel good again. And so after I, was I retired, um, by two years ago, as you mentioned, Discover CBD. And you retired, you sort of, I mean, this is also, you had injuries, you had a couple of knee surgeries yeah. at the end of your career, is that right? And so what happened, did you try to come back? Did you end up giving up? I mean, what do you think when you see the announcements from guys like yeah. Andrew yeah. Luck this week who just say, it's not worth it for me anymore? I understand 100% how Andrew Luck feels. I was in the same cycle. It is that cycle of rehabbing, injury, rehab, injury, rehab, injury. It is a vicious cycle that you never get out of. And so I went through from 1999, I tore my ACL. I was struggling from 99 until I retired in 2002. Mm -hmm. And it is a mental drain on you every day. You're trying to get that body back to where you know you can get it to, where right. you were once before that injury happened, and you can't find it. And so you're always just becoming kind of status quo. You get to about a five on a scale of one to 10. And then when you feel like, then you back to a one. Absolutely. And so the mental drain of it every single day the other thing that's big is your teammates. When you're not participating and when you don't contribute to the team's success, you don't feel like you're part of the team. And unfortunately, we know in professional sports, if you're not playing, you're kind of, you know, it's... You're just a, yeah, you're just a guy. You're just a guy. You're just a guy out there. And, that, and that's the biggest thing for any player is that you want to feel like you're important to your team. Yeah. And you want to feel like you're a part of that team and whatever they do, and you just don't feel that. So when Andrew Luck walked away from the game, I saw it and I understood all of, all, all of those emotions because I had those. Yeah. He, he didn't want to quit. He wants to play. He loves the game. But then there's, you have to have an unconditional love, but you also have, have to have a mental, like not mental toughness, but you got to be able to like sustain that, that love for it, even when you go through all these While downturns. dealing with this time yeah, and again. So Rob Gronkowski also launched a CBD product this week and, and also yeah, talked about how maybe it could have helped his recovery in his career. Look, a lot of these claims about CBD so far are unproven. This is a brand new industry that's barely even, I mean, us trying to figure out, okay, CBD from hemp is okay, but not from, yeah. why do you know, or why do you feel confident enough to say, spend $8 basically right. <laughs> for, for this drink? There's no THC. It's not the stuff that gets you high, Correct. just the CBD. What happens if, I mean, is the science going to prove, prove this all out? I mean, what's your personal experience? My personal like? experience is, like I said, for me, it really has, has taken it to another level. I mean, it's put me back to my playing weight. I feel about as good as I did when I played. Uh, my knees, I have more flexibility in my joints right now. Uh, something I didn't expect was that it helped with my migraines. I actually was on migraine medication using naproxen two times a day as a preventative. And so when I read the research and it, it was like, okay, it might help with some migraines, I tried it. And for a year and a half now, I had one migraine. And I didn't have the full-blown migraine. So it's helped me in that in that. In that respect. So I believe in it. It's worked for me. And not only that, I, I, you know, I talk to a lot of players. And players have been using C CBD for many, many years, yeah. way before, yeah. you know, the two, the two years that I right. researched this. And so there is a, 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 a huge community of people who believe in this. Now, and the research has to further s some of the stuff out. But yeah, right now. Right. And the FDA needs to kind of come up, be, be clearer about the regulations. Correct. So you are actually working with, uh, John Isner is involved in this, yeah. uh, correct? Correct. The pro tennis player, because pro tennis and I think pro golf are the two places that where CBD products are, or usage is kind yeah, of okay. Like bubbles, yeah, like Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you think the NFL should be doing if, if what you're saying about how this could help is true? I think the NFL is doing what they should be doing. They're looking at it and they're going to be doing research research on it to make sure that it is something that is viable and they just can't make a quick decision to say okay we're gonna all of a sudden get behind this they have to do their homework and I respect that so they're not saying no at this point they, meaning they're not saying they won't look into it they are and so in a few years and hopefully sooner rather than later this CBD will be something that players who are currently playing will be able to use as a measure of taking care of the pain management the inflammation yep. uh, maybe sometimes you have 
Um, you can't sleep, so maybe for relaxing you. So I think the, the benefits of this is going to be tremendous, and we have yet to see right now no known really side effects. So uh, I'm encouraged by what we see. It's a beautiful thing. It's worked for me, and it's worked for a lot of, a lot of players.